What's going on guys, Arbolska here, the Tattooed Entrepreneur, and today we're going to be talking about proxies and how you can set them up for Jarvi so that you can run your client's accounts and your own personal accounts safer. All right guys, so welcome back. I'm kind of excited for this video because a lot of you have been asking me to do it. I haven't really felt comfortable with proxies over the last couple months. I had a lot of issues with them getting them to work, but I finally got them dialed down working for Jarvi. I'm running all my clients' accounts on proxies, so I finally can give you a tutorial and show you exactly what you need to do and how to troubleshoot your proxies so they're working correctly. All right, guys, quickly, before we start, you can officially hire me on Fiverr to automate your Instagram. Maybe you just don't have the know-how or you're too busy to do it yourself, so you can officially hire me on Fiverr to automate your Instagram account through Jarvi safely with optimized settings tailored to your niche. All you have to do is click the link below, go to Fiverr, place an order. Please message me before you place an order so that we can make sure that it's a good fit for you. So you can officially do that. All right, guys, so let's get to the tutorial on how to run proxies. All right, guys, now before we jump into computer, let's go over what a proxy actually is. A proxy is actually another computer in which your computer connects to to hide its own IP address. Now, for instance, let's say you're growing an account for somebody in England, right? You don't want Instagram to see that their Instagram account is connecting to an IP address out of your home in, let's say, Florida. So if I'm growing somebody's account in England, and my computer's IP address is from Florida. If Instagram sees that that person's account, which is stationed in England, is doing a lot of activities off of a computer in Florida, that's instantly going to send a red flag to Instagram that could enable that account to get banned. And if we're growing clients' accounts, we want to be safe as possible. Some of these people could be have been growing their accounts for the last five years. And if you set them up on an automation software that's running out of Florida and you get their account banned, you know, that's that's really bad. You don't want to do that to people. I know for one, I'd be very upset if somebody did that to me. So we want to be running safe settings and we want to be running proxies. So the lucky thing about proxies is that you're able to hide your home IP address from Instagram server. One tip I have, when people are hiring you to grow their Instagram accounts, ask them where they're from. That way you'll see when we log on to high proxies, you can request a certain location for their data center, which means that if you're growing an account in England, you can ask for an English IP address. If you're growing an account in California and you're in New York, you can ask for a New York IP address. So it's very important that you get an IP address that's local to where the person lives or where the person's running their Instagram. That way the IP addresses don't conflict with each other. All right, guys. So as you can see, I got high proxies pulled up on my computer. Now, this is who I use. There's a ton of uh, proxy services out there, but I've used high proxies from the start. And although you'll get a broken proxy every once in a while, they generally provide uh, excellent service. But in the past couple of months, I think I've only had one broken one. And all you have to do is email their customer support, which they're really great about getting back to you fast and they'll fix it for you. So highproxies.com, I've linked that below. So that is an affiliate link. So please click that and that'll help me out a little bit. Once you go to highproxies.com, Go up here to buy proxies and go down and buy Instagram proxies because that's what we're looking for. We're running Instagram accounts. We want Instagram proxies. So once you do that, it'll bring you to this page right here, which is their pricing menu. Now, as you can see, for one Instagram account, $3.20 per month. Five Instagram accounts, $15 a month. And 10, you know, the prices, so on and so on. What you have to factor in here is how much you're charging. Uh, if you're just running your own personal accounts, you know, $15 a month for peace of mind. I don't see anything wrong with that. If you're charging what I charge, $50 a month, you have to sacrifice $15 off of one account to get five proxies that'll run four other accounts as well. Not that much overhead cost if you think about it. Generally, every time I get a couple new sales, I'll buy more proxies and I'll just factor it into the overhead cost of running a business. What you'll do here is you'll choose the service you want. It'll take you here to the monthly billing cycle. As you can see, it's $15 a month. Choose the proxy location. You could set up the data centers. They actually show here where their proxy servers are located. So depending on where you're from, like I'm you know, from Florida, I generally get my proxies from Miami unless I'm running an account that's either overseas or in a different state. So if I'm running an account that's in California, I'll figure out where they're located. Let's say they're located in Lancaster, California. I'll choose the proxies that are in Los Angeles because that's closest to where they are. We don't want to send any red flags to Instagram, you know? If this person's located in Phoenix and I'm running them from a proxy in San Francisco, that's bad. So if the person's located in Phoenix, use a Phoenix server. Just try to pick and choose the closest data centers to the account you're growing. As you can see, they have a lot of them overseas. You know, they have some in London, Germany, 
anywhere you would really need them, they have them there. And when you go to buy your proxies and you come to the checkout page, you know, this is where you would pay for the service and, and create your account. You'll go down here and in the notes, you would type, can I please have proxies located in London, UK? You know, can I please have proxies located in California, United States? Can I please have proxies located in blah, 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 Germany? And they are really good about looking at the notes when you send in an order and giving you the proxies in that location. I've never had an issue with it. I ask for Miami ones. I get Miami ones. I ask for California ones. I get California ones. So I've never had an issue with that. All right, guys. So you're going to want to go to click sign up. This is where you'd be asked to enter all your information. I'm going to enter a bunch of bogus information here so that I can show you what the screen looks like once you've bought your proxies. All right, guys, once you've signed up for an account, uh, go up here to my account. My proxies will bring you to this page right here. Now, you have to give high proxies at least two to three hours to generate your servers. Once they do that, they'll send you an email confirmation notifying you that your proxies are up and running. You'll come to this page right here. It'll actually list in numerical order if you ordered five, five proxies. Now, this is where my mistake was happening when I was ordering proxies. You have to give your computer uh, permission to connect to these proxies. So as you can see here, IP1, IP2, IP3, that'll be located underneath your list of proxies. Now what you have to do is, if you don't know your computer's IP address, create a new tab, type in what is my IP. Your IP address will show up here in the top left hand corner. Bring that back to high proxies, type that into IP1 and click add. That will add your IP address into the list of IPs that are allowed to access high proxies IPs. That's where a lot of people are getting, when they type their proxies into Instagram or into Jarvi, are getting the not verified or failed or it can't connect because it needs to connect from your IP address and that proxy needs to have access. It's going to list your IPs here. You're going to have a proxy IP, a port, a username, and a password. Now, let me show you how to bring these over into Jarvi and type them in. All right, guys, once you have Jarvi pulled up, you're going to go to, you're going to click on Proxy Manager. Once in Proxy Manager, you're going to go up to Add a Proxy. That'll bring up this menu right here. Now, like I told you, you have an IP and a port. What you're going to want to do is you want to go, go in and copy the IP address. This will not be there. Okay, you'll have to type in that semicolon right there and then the port number. That's very important that you do it like that because that's the way it connects to the IP, IP address. Go back into high proxies, locate your proxy username, copy and paste it right here. Go back into IP or go back into high proxies, copy your password. This is where it'll give you a chance to connect it to a certain uh, username. So after you've entered all the information, the Instagram account into Jarvi, it'll populate in this little drop down menu right here. That's where you're going to add it to that specific proxy. I'm not going to do that right now. Come over here, verify proxy, and you should get this little valid sign right here. Now that will associate that account with that proxy. You'll rinse and repeat this process for all the Instagram accounts that you want to add to a proxy. One proxy per one Instagram account, okay? So go through, take your take the Instagram accounts that you have, add them to Jarvi, go down to your proxy manager, set up your proxies, add them to those specific accounts, and bam, that's it. You'll start automating these accounts off of the proxies that you got from High Proxy, and you'll have a lot more peace of mind as to the account not getting banned or Instagram not seeing any funny business. You'll be able to run 40, 50 accounts, no problem, all connected from different IP addresses all automated. So there, that's it guys. Quick YouTube tutorial on how to run proxies. I hope you guys found value in this video. If you are interested in me growing your Instagram account, please click on the Fiverr link below. Shoot me a message before you buy so that we can figure all the details out and I will see you on the next video.